Hey, what's up? My name is Taisi Zarouk from Sartai's Motion Pictures, and welcome back to another cool way you can make your characters walk on water. In one of the easiest possible ways you can do that, and also using the HDRI maps to create a very nice looking environment here in Cinema 40. You also learn the basics of rigging your character and make a simple walk cycle here in Cinema 40. So let's get started. So we're going to start here by creating the basic skeleton for the character's movement. So we'll go to character and under character we'll select the basic pelvis we want. In this case we're going to use the uh, biped. The advanced biped is like an advanced human but we just want a simple human being with um, legs and arms and legs. So we choose the biped. Um, only so when we choose the biped you see there are different types of um, bodies you can use from here uh, like bird fish insects small cap quadrups and reptiles and wings so in this case we are just going to create a simple walk cycle of a human so we choose a biped so on the biped uh, on the biped here we will need a pelvis the base for the character so let's choose let's click on this pelvis here you see it creates a directional and a very um a basic um, rig so after we click the pelvis we need a spine for the character where the arms will grow and the feet will grow so let's click a spine here and one thing you also notice is that let me control with this is um, uh, under the spine we have a small arrow pointing down this means there are more than one options here so if you hold on your left mouse button you see the different options they have different fu functions and uh, um, let's try the IK and see what it does you see the difference this is more advanced and uh, it depends on the work you want to do you see the different the columns here are five columns you can change the bones of the spine but in a very um, uh, basic way we only, we only choose the FK so let's choose the FK that will have three bones at the spine so after we click that we need an arm so we click the arm but if we click the arm only you see we only have one arm and we need two so uh, the way of doing that is by holding your control button and clicking on the arm you see now we have two buttons hold the control um the, your control key on the keyboard and click the arm so and uh, you see here we have fingers and we can choose to um, remove it so we go back click here you see this IK there is limp so if we hold the control button and click the limp you see where it ends we don't need the fingers and this is like um, a boxing bag um, a boxing gloves on the sun so we are good with that so now we want to create the, the legs from the body so we'll go back to the main spine and generate the fits from it. So we click there and hold the control button and click. Also here you see we have um, uh, fits on it. So we want to remove them so we'll control Z. We'll go to the hold the left mouse button and click the I key. So you see we have just this like a boat now we also need a head so we'll go back to the spine here and select the head we don't need to click control because we only need one head so we have the basic character here so now the next thing we need is we need to create a body that fits the character you can also make any body and make the rig fits to it so in this case that we already have the character so we're going to make the character need the body to fit with this 
so go to the front view like doing it in the front view or we'll press h to frame everything together um h on the keyboard so now we go to the cube and drag it move this is okay go to the side view press H just to frame the whole body move it a little backwards I think it's too thick go back to the front view now we're going to create the arms here so one way of doing that is to duplicate this one that we already have here by holding the control button and just making edit and just editing this one so if you hold the control button and drag downwards you have a two copy so we drag this point here move it Move it this side, rotate it. We'll change this, move it down. Let's take in that. Oh. Just trying to get a very nice um, movement from the bones to the character. So when we have this, we can create a symmetry from here. And we can also use a very quick way of doing that from the character go to the mirror tool and just click the mirror well it's not working so we'll choose the symmetry here we'll drag the this you see we have to so if we make this editable by pressing C here now we have all two arms now what we need is the feet so click in here again drag you see a very small dot here so we click it drag it downward to create the fit we drag this point Yeah. and we can also make it look good from here so we'll just um, see make it editable choose the points mode we go to the left view we push this point upward but um, So now the only thing left to do is um, let's add more segments on the body here so that it is going to move freely. So I think uh, let's not put too much segments so that he will look a little bit robotic. I think this is okay for the segments. Um, 
just a single we need more segments on the hands so we select them all and uh, subdivide let's multiply it by three times oops um subdivide make it two times yeah it's okay like that and also the the fix um let's and subdivide it by just a single so we have enough polygons to make him move freely um next we're going to adjust it so after doing this the next thing to do is come to this go to adjustments now we pull this um notice how the wind moves so we move this move it a bit control z um Okay, this is it. So now we drag the make this editable. We drag all of them. We select all the body parts. Um, let's rename them by double clicking. Um, body. And feet. click on the character here we can lock it slowly drag it in now it's binded so we'll go to animate add a work cycle now we have a C motion and the C motion now if we play that see we have a simple work cycle but one thing we need to adjust is from the C motion, we go to the controls display. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Mm. Is it C motion? Because it's locked, that's why we need to come to uh, C motion here. Now we increase the stride a bit. If we play it, we also increase the time. We reduce the time, the speed. Um, the left arm. Just the left arm and Mm, you get the idea now we create the environment so we create a simple floor go to material boom channel the surface and uh, we can choose us um, on the reflection 
for the reflection and the specular is OK. So now we create a, a simple sky. We go through the content browser. Go to Prime Materials, HDRI Maps, and choose the one. Let's choose this. So if we drag this to this, then this to the floor. And uh, let's create a glass material for him. So we under transparency. 1.5 specularity nice. reflection there's the reflection specularity okay so we drag this to the arms to the body with the feet. So let's ramp preview this. So now you can create the walk cycle. You can create the path you wanted to him to work on so let's use a simple Bezier curve um, let him come towards the camera turn turn and go from here so we'll go to the character C motion not static let's choose a path for him then drag the spine here so now if I play you see he's walking on the path towards the H. So now you can see. Uh, and we can also hide this to be visible. And also we can hide this. And let's give them a render. And you can also find many cool um, uh, HDRI maps that we could try. So go back to the HDRI maps and choose a darker one like this. Um, drag this and replace it. Now we hit the window. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial helpful in any way because I assure you there is a lot more coming out this week so you should please subscribe to this channel to stay tuned. Thank you.